how to clean turbocharger without removing and also why should I clean my turbocharger stay tuned let me show you how and tell you why I'll also show you a before and after using my uh, endoscope This is my son's 1.2 TSI engine in his uh, Seaty Beast 6J. And here's the turbocharger, nice and easy to access on the front of the engine. Uh, I've done my own turbocharger on my Saab many, many times, but that's down the back of the engine, much more difficult to film. So what I've done here is I've removed the air delivery pipe that goes from the turbocharger to the throttle body. So that's this. And I've also removed the air delivery pipe that takes the air from the air box into the turbocharger. So why should you clean your turbocharger occasionally? I won't, I won't go into elaborate detail because it is actually quite complicated, but all engines have a positive crankcase ventilation system. What that means is that the engine itself actually sucks air out of the lower crankcase using the vacuum of the intake. And the turbocharger and the throttle body are both in the path of those gases that come from the crankcase. Uh, the gases are blow-by gases from combustion, so there's some combustion products, plus some oil misting. But over several tens of thousands of miles, it can build up, and it affects the performance of your car. A dirty throttle body I've already dealt with in another video. I'll link to that up above. But a dirty turbocharger, it basically affects the way the turbocharger spins and the, uh, the, out, the air flow through it. Now in, in the ultimate uh, case, where a turbocharger gets seriously dirty, the, the ends of the vanes actually start running in the oily, sticky mess that's on there. And that actually slows the turbo down and can very quickly lead to turbocharger failure. Here's a view of the turbocharger using my endoscope before I've done any cleaning. As you can see, the vanes and the rotating parts in the middle on the end of the shaft, the nut, etc., are, uh, are coated in, a, in a, a black sticky mess. Now, the stuff to use to clean your turbocharger, I, I am a big fan of this, uh, Wins Professional Turbo Cleaner. The, the big difference between this and carburetor cleaner, though, is that this foams up. You get it down into uh, into front of the turbocharger and you spray into the center of the turbocharger. It will then foam up and it gets into all the little gaps and crevices inside the turbocharger. Get your finger or maybe a wooden coffee stirrer stick inside and spin the turbocharger around. Not fast, just turn it. It helps to make sure that the uh, cleaner gets distributed. Here's a view down the inside of the turbocharger after I've cleaned it. I gave it two blasts with the turbo cleaner. Then simply put your in intake pipes back together, start your engine up, give it a bit of a rev just to clear its throat, make sure that there's no residual uh, cleaner in there just getting in the way. It should run a little smoother at idle, it should pick up a little better and you might find you get a little bit better fuel economy. Certainly the Saab appreciates having a clean throttle body and clean turbocharger. If you got value from this video, please like the video down by the title, give it a thumbs up, and I shall see you next time.